All right, guys, welcome back to the channel, Hill Creek Outdoors. We are out here clearing out where we're going to put the pasture, right? And as you guys know, if you do any type of work with any equipment, you're going to have issues, right? You're going to have things that are going to break. You're going to have to replace them, fix them. You know the case. Um, so what we had is we had something happen to the John Deere 1025R on the three-point hitch. So we're going to go ahead and replace the part that broke, show you what it was, how to do it, give you the part number. Um, that way, if you ever have the situation happen to you, you know exactly what you're going to get and how to do it. So let's get right into this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, so here's the deal, guys. Yesterday, we were working out here, and it rained this morning, so it's a muddy mess. Um, this video is going to be a short one, um, but we definitely wanted to bring it to you. Um, but yesterday, while we were working, hauling some logs out, and we'll show you some progress here um, as soon as we get this installed for you guys. But the three-point hitch, I was hauling a little log out, and all of a sudden, all my ballast weight from the three-point hitch hit the ground. And I'm like, what in the world? And so the sway, uh, I believe this is a sway link. I think that's exactly what it's called. Sway link. It actually broke where the threads are. So when that happened, it bent the extending arm piece too that goes onto your uh, three-point hitch. So we went ahead, had to go purchase this from the John Deere dealer. And let's go ahead and give you the part number, show you how to install it back on. So we had to purchase both pieces, like I said. Let me get you the part numbers here. So this is the sway link. And let me tell you something. The sway link does not come with the nut. So make sure you are aware of that when you buy the kit that it does not come with the locking nut. So you're going to have to get that as well. They just gave it to me um, because they didn't know that. So my John Deere dealer um, provided that free of charge. So I don't know how much the nut is, but it can't be that much. But the part number is going to be LVA, so Lincoln Victor Adam 1663. So that's Lincoln Victor Adam 1663. John Deere part. I'm going to put all this stuff in the description so you guys know exactly what the part numbers are as well. And then this was the other part. And we had to purchase this as well. Brand new piece. So it's not integrity, the T integrity is not compromise with the bend in the metal but this part number from john deere was lva lincoln victor adam one six two nine six so it's lincoln victor adam one six two nine six is going to be the part number here at the end i'll give you the prices on both of them so let's go ahead and install this one first it's going to go on like this and then hook down here so we'll take off this here first this little cotter pin they can be a challenge at times especially these type take that off got that on now we're going to raise this up you're going to make want to make sure you have the weight off obviously when you pick this up sway link take our little pin out pin back on you're going to want that facing in take our nut off that they provided at the dealer for us you're going to have to purchase it and you're gonna screw screw that on so you have some well I guess I should if I go the right way guys to tighten it up a little bit shorten it go ahead and get it started I'm, I hope you guys can see this let me step around here so we can I'm not in your all's view so last thing you want to do is not show you guys. Throw that in. Like that. 
Get your nut on there. It's a three quarter inch. So now we got that uh, all put on, right? We might have to adjust it, tighten it up to where it's not swaying quite as much and adjust it a little bit um, once we get it up out of here. But we can go ahead and throw our weights back on. Check out our heavy hitch, quick attach uh, system. We got a video out there on it. Absolutely great tool, this quick attach. Uh, the heavy hitch here for the weights. And then the uh, quick attach system here just makes getting on and off of your equipment so simple. So let me throw these weights on. Each one of these are 70 pounds. So they give you a good amount of ballast weight. One thing you don't want to be doing is ever working with the front loader and not having proper ballast weight because that's when you're going to get into some sketchy situations. Let's get this up out of here, finish this video up, and show you what the prices were. Man, what a muddy mess. Wrap this chain around, because this is what I was using to... Uh, Haul some uh, logs out. Man, that's nasty. Let's move it. so far i guess an update you can see all the little firewood sticks there we're once again we're going to be putting about a seven to ten acre pasture right here along the side of the hill um, this is about the flattest spot we got we've got quite a few logs already cut down some good saw logs there's a nice cherry right there we'll be cutting down and take it to the mill got some oak you name it we got probably i don't know a good truck load right now well, has about 15 logs, saw logs that we're going to be taking, but we've cleared probably about 70 yards in so far, 70 watt long by probably 50 yards wide. So we're just starting, but this is an update. Just to show you guys the logs that we currently have, like I said, we have about a full load here, truck load. So we'll be taking these range from 22 inches in diameter to I think the lowest one is 16 inches in diameter. Uh, maybe the largest is 23, but there you go, mainly cherry. So, all right, so like I said, gonna give you the prices here on those parts. The first part was the Sway Link. The Sway Link, um, just remember it does not come with the nut, the locking nut, so you'll have to get that. But that is a kit, and from the John Deere dealer here in Ohio, it cost $47, and then the other part was $90. So you're looking right about $150 for both parts if you have that issue. Um, so they'll also be in the description there, and I'll list the price as well. So I hope you guys learned something, um, how to do that if you ever need to in a pinch. And then this is where we're going to be doing the clear cut, like I said, for the pasture. This is directly behind the pole barn. If you guys have been watching the channel for a while, uh, you know we built a pole barn. Um, we have water here, so we'll be able to 
water, livestock, and everything once we get this taken care of. So don't forget to like and subscribe. We appreciate you coming back. Till next time here on Hill Creek Outdoors. We'll see you.